That Taika Waititi is a, k a Kiwi. Oh, that boy likes to have some fun. Fun. Multiple partners. It looks like the kind of guy that would do that. He seems like he walked down the street with a blazer on his finger across his shoulder. It does he? Yeah. Cool as shit. I think he's cool as shit. How does, black teeth. So what? how does Disney allow that to be okay? Him having multiple partners, openly talking about having a good time with them. Because that's just exploring your sexuality. What are you talking about? He's, he's not being a closeted bigot. Well, he was the director of Ragnarok. Oh, my God. He was the director of how he's many director? Star Wars now? None yet, but one's coming up. Okay. You, he also did uh, Jojo Rabbit where it had like the person hanging and the kids all his feet or something. Uh, it, I don't know about Jojo Rabbit. It, it's okay to have multiple partners. It's not okay to have just one that's opposite sex. What are we talking Taika Waititi. No, Jojo Rabbit is a good movie. <laughs> but probably. what are we talking about? How's, why is it acceptable that he's, Disney, he's poly? Disney's okay with things, and then Disney's he, not okay with things. Wait, he's this Pride Month. Poly, huh? <laughs> Multiple partners. Oh, so like he has like three wives or something? No, he just likes to have a good time with... He found a group of people that all like to do the same thing, too. Like they all... Like pineapples. Yeah. Mm, okay. uh, yeah, the pineapples. He doesn't... Co I don't think he coerces anybody into doing things. He that found you know people of. that want to... That all support the same ideology, ideology as him. Party people. Yeah. yeah. Sexual... Explorations. And what is our yeah. problem with that? No, I don't have a problem with it. Oh. I have a problem with Disney picking and choosing what they say is okay and what they say is not okay. Well... It's easy to figure out. If it affects the money, it's okay. I think he possibly was going to affect the money because it became a headline, right? That that whole... If he comes out and says people who have multiple sexual partners are treated like Jews, then he'll get fired. Because well, <laughs> no, he won't say that because China might, will be like, we don't want his movies anymore. They might cover right. that up. They might cover it up. It's like when Disney's like okay with racism, when they're like, take the black guy off the poster. We don't want him in China. Because <laughs> right, yeah. it loses money. Mm-hmm. No one wants to bring that up at yeah, all. So they took it out. They're like, hey, let's ruin Finn's character because China doesn't like him. Yeah. Then you got the whole James Gunn saga. Somehow he unfucked himself over out of. Because uh, everyone else said he's not like that. That was like a joke he made 10 years ago. Yeah. yeah. Plus, he made movies that made a lot of money. And uh, plus, all that, the whole cast was like, we're not going to do Guardians 3 if you don't have to bring him back. Yeah. <laughs> but then but then now everybody's dropping out. Like, Bradley Cooper's done with Guardians. Dave Bautista's yeah, done with Guardians. Well, I mean, it's enough for the movies. For then, the then the girl says something. What's her name? Gina? Gina Carano? Yeah, she says something, and they're like, oh. She, she brought Jews. She's transphobic. Oh, okay, you can't do that. Yeah. Did she? Yeah. I she, thought she, she compared, compared something she Nazi. Com she compared Republicans to the Jews, how the Republicans are being treated in today's culture to how the Jews were being treated at the beginning of the Nazi stuff. Yeah. Okay, I didn't think it's kind of like, I didn't trying, think was it was too make, bad. She, she was trying to make an analogy. Cause like people were like head hunting yeah. or like trying to blacklist anybody that was Republican. She was mm -hmm. like, this is how it started with not yeah. Germany. Yeah. Was, Cause she got head hunted. Just like Chris Pratt. It's wrong yeah. place, wrong time. Yeah. And people were, and, and like people just completely don't understand the metaphor or the yeah. analogy she was trying to make. Yeah. And went straight to, you're trying to say you were putting concentration. You know, it's like, you're not understanding what she's saying. But then the other guy's like, gay people are being treated like Jews. Yeah. And they're like, he's the Mando, totally right. Like, the Mando guy. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever he said. It's like there's know. more stuff for Pride Month than anybody brought up Memorial Day. Yeah. Like all these businesses and stuff. Where's our Mental Health Awareness Day? Where's our... Uh, and 3 for 3 brought it up. So, yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Where's our celebration for that? <laughs> yeah. I like Six. how the games people are the ones that bring it up. How about successful... Well, they didn't bring up Memorial Day. Successful yeah. Marriage Month. How about that? Oh, that's, right? that's a thing in the past, Tyler. Well, this is a double month, though, because we got Pride and then Juneteenth. It's almost like having a successful <laughs> marriage is, go is like, uncool. <laughs> yeah. It's like being married is uncool. Being married is uncool. Getting a divorce is cool, huh, Thomas? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a headache than anything. I'm surprised no one's brought up, like, trying to move either the Pride month from June <laughs> or Juneteenth. What if we just did a Pride Day during the middle of February? Valentine's Day? Get rid of it. Change it to a Pride uh, Day. Pride Day. Yeah. That way gay people have you something during Black you, History you Month. You can't put gay thing during Black History Month either. Why not? You know why. You know why. Oh. <laughs> it's frowned upon, Chris. That's what I'm saying. I have, I'm surprised there's an outcry as to the, the one month that we have the day to celebrate Juneteenth is the gay month also. Well, it was a made-up holiday anyway. Like, is it is it Juneteenth because of like a reason? It's because not a made up holiday, Thomas. It's because of like two years ago it became a national holiday. Well, no, but it was a real thing. 
like some general went down to Texas and is like, "You bitches are free," and they're like, "I want oh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, how does that affect me?" I'm just saying it's like an actual <laughs> thing. Like slave, they're like, "All right, Emancipation Proclamation." Yeah, that, and that should have done it, right? It took two years for them to get that information in Texas. They didn't have social media. Well, I'm just saying. It's yeah. like the War 1812 when it ended. Andrew Jackson was still fighting people in fucking Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> he was like down there fucking <laughs> slaying. I, I don't believe that shit. I'm on my own fucking crusade. <laughs> he, probably, he probably got the message from the messenger. Was like. Fuck you and me. This. Light this, this on fire. <laughs> Pretend you never saw this. Forward! <laughs> just like, fucking murder him. I just forgot how to read. How about you? <laughs> I don't know how to read. God damn. And then he sent Indians over to the West. So mm -hmm. he's, a, he's, a, he's a two sided coin, that man. <laughs> good things, bad things. Take the good with the bad, right? Yeah. Anyway. Anyways. Welcome to Tack Welcome to <laughs> <laughs> A little different way to intro this one. It, it so, kind of segued. Uh, where cold. we have uh, half information on everything. Yeah, a little yeah. cold up in there. Yeah, welcome, welcome, to, going. welcome to another episode of Tack Lab. Uh, lots happened. We've uh, <laughs> us us personally at the table. We've it's been a couple weeks since we've we've been together. A lots happened. Uh, yeah. Some stuff happened with Johnny and Amber. Johnny's free man. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Won that. Mm-hmm. I think that's some good. Uh, I think that's some solid, a solid win for men everywhere. Did anybody else just not care the whole time? I didn't care um, as much as a lot of people. Like, I, I saw it and I'm like, why is this got to be like him versus her? They just both look like assholes. There were so many like, YouTubers. I think, it's, I think it's a general consensus now is that it was just. I just look at it and I'm like, they're these both are assholes. Two horrible yeah. people. Yeah, they were I, they were hateful to each other. Why do I need to care? I, I felt like the verdict was kind of underwhelming. Like I was expecting a lot of people to be like, woo. And it's like yeah. scrolling through, there wasn't videos like he won. It was just like he wasn't even there. The, uh, the trial is finally over. I think what I saw one thing that hurt Johnny in the end was the uh, his old manager or somebody came out and said that like the studios were already saying they don't want him, mm. and like that's why he didn't get as much money, and like mm. he didn't like something about his testimony. He when he testified, it was just like the studios were already kind of getting away from him. Yeah, well he's he's at retirement age anyway, right? He's that. And he's I think there is a drug problem. And like he's kind of, yeah. that's kind of that's still of a black mark. Like whether yeah. he wins or loses, it's a black mark anyway. But I, like I said, like on the last podcast, like we all knew he did drugs. Yeah, most of them. <laughs> yeah, do. like we but all knew he did cocaine. Ninety percent of them do. Yeah. Do you think Amber Heard's gonna get dropped from Aquaman? No, she's already filmed it. They're not just gonna edit it out. They said that they were going to on this one DC. article. You never heard a reshoot, Chris? DC is just stricken with bad luck. Everything they do, dude. Aquaman's going, but people might even see Aquaman just to do it. And the Flash is just—I don't know what's going on with that movie. It's oh my time. goodness! I, I, I think I think when we graduated, they announced that movie. Dude, the, <laughs> that sure. guy, the kid, the guy that plays the Flash, uh, is on a fucking roll. Dude, he's beating hey, up hey, karaoke what bars. What is his problem? Dude, he does dude, not like karaoke bars. You can't say he anymore. That guy's a they. Sorry, is he officially? They, I know he wears they. dresses and stuff. Just, just he say, gets mad at just the say police. Ez, Ezra Miller. Yeah, that, uh, they were karaoke, and then like one of the lyrics, the person said he, and he just threw a chair. I don't know. Yeah, he's Ezra, crazy. Ezra Miller's a they. He's crazy. They be crazy. They, they be crazy, they man. They be wild. They be calling out the KKK in North Carolina. That thing Carolina. is crazy. I think he threw a violin at somebody. <laughs> did you see when they called out the KKK in North Carolina? Why? Who Ezra, did? Ezra Miller did, did in yeah. Hawaii? He called out the KKK in North Carolina. Yeah. Is that why he threw the what? violin? Hold on. Everything that he does, they they can't keep... How, are the, how is he still working? He's that good of an actor, apparently. He, he's been suspended or something. Yeah, he's on probation from DC, apparently. You know, now his they they character in the stand was awesome. Yeah. See, that's the crazy thing. Like, how does that kind of <laughs> stuff happen with Ezra Miller? But then you have something simple with Gina Carano. Let's find the message. Just a simple little message that she says. She's not out there. She well, could DC, literally uh, tear somebody's head off. Well, Warner Brothers is not like this. Uh, Warner Brothers has a history of like giving people like bending to certain people. Right. Disney is like, if you say anything controversial, they get rid of you. Like if Gina Carano was on a DC, uh, DC movie, she'd still be on the movie. Well, or if you're a big character. Yeah. And I think the problem with the Flash movie, why they won't replace him, is because he's playing three Flashes in a movie. I think he's right. playing different, so you, you can't just like face swap. Like there's like he's playing three different versions of Flash, so like he has to be. Kill yourselves with your own guns. It, the post has been removed. So. I think he has a big head. He's he thinks his shit don't think. Yeah, I mean, I think he, they, whatever, beat the I shit out know. of a woman. What did it say up top, Thomas? Or will will do it for you? Start killing themselves, or will do it for you? 
So now he's openly admitting that he will kill people if they don't kill themselves. This is what the left turns into. This is what happened in France. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the far if, left people are crazy. If I see ones. California roll out of gallows, I'll just be like, all right, then. Bella, Boula View, North Carolina. I, I mean, reading about the French Revolution and all that shit, and see how crazy that, that side of society was. Yeah. And then seeing some of these people here. Our people don't have the balls to do that. But they started to. Like, I think it did a snowball. The only people that have the balls to do anything like that is black people. Maybe. Who's the only ones that protested? True. They're too busy Who's fighting. The only one? Uh, I guess all those people are just too busy Twitter What about the fighting. Capitol? Yeah. Too busy fighting each other. All right, all right, all right. So the far <laughs> left and the far right. Right, it's one extreme or another. But the far, I don't think the far right is going to start chopping people's heads off. Well, the, the capital <laughs> right. Know, man. I don't know. They, <laughs> they the, might. The far right just going to supermarkets. Have you seen some of those? <laughs> <laughs> Answer this question. Have you guys... We're talking about credit. That, that guy got the news, like, fast. Have you seen the guy in the pickup truck with all the flags that it's waving off of his truck in Kannapolis? Yeah, all the and he, flags. And he rides around holding the gun barrel that's sticking up. Have you? And he wears a half mask. Shaved head, combat j- vest. Like, like nobody's Com- going to run his tag and know who he is. Have you guys not seen this man? <laughs> he wears a mask. I wears see- a half mask, and his his daughter like or a somebody. Mask? Yeah, like a his daughter sits in the passenger seat. She looks just as crazy as him. They're both all <laughs> kitted out, <laughs> just like riding ball. around Canapolis Cal- uh, <laughs> with flags. So the the annoying thing there was a line of traffic. It was going to get, we were getting off 85, going to shoot over Dale Earnhardt Boulevard and go into the Walmart Supercenter yeah, right. area. Okay, line of traffic. He goes past everybody and jumps up in front of the first car like a Fuck fucking hey, asshole. Hey, and like, they're sitting still and you can get in front of them. This do is it. my city. Like, what, what you going to do to me? <laughs> well, yeah. What I you going to do? Going I got my there. gun. I was going to Lowe's. <laughs> I dare you. I was yeah. going to Lowe's. I got up there beside of him and he is holding his, his AR <laughs> and has his other hand on the wheel and his bitch ass daughter, sunglasses. She's like scanning. Like looking for who's gonna do something? Who's threats. gonna honk their horn I, at oh, us? Yeah, See, you should have asked me. You should be like barks or mugs. Now, how, how old are these people? <laughs> that guy looks like he is in his forties, maybe touching fifty. His daughter looks like she's like brainwashed, uh, brainwashed, and seventeen year old. Oh. They're just keeping their head on the swivel, checking her at the sixes. Say something, sure. motherfucker. They're looking at her exit points, make sure they didn't get clear traffic. <laughs> So Psycho. Like, like a Mexican yeah. dude talked to his daughter in like fourth grade, and they've been like this ever since. Mm. I bet there's a lot more involved than the Mexicans. Like he's just stalking out that trailer park beside the old food line. Like, how sad would it be you never have a Taco Tuesday? We don't have <laughs> tacos around here. I love here. Taco Express over there in Canapolis. You, you, only, you only have like hot dogs <laughs> just, and hamburgers. Just walking, just <laughs> oh, God. I, you guys Salsa gotta... was everywhere. <laughs> a lot of pico picante. <laughs> Whatever the fuck they eat. <laughs> Pico Picante. <laughs> Rock like, this. That's like some fucking redneck shit. <laughs> y'all, are, I hope y'all Cold see him old. now. I so hope it, y'all see him now. I will now. I'll yeah. look for him. I may have seen the truck, but it's I'm got, not It's all certain. flagged out. Trump flag, American flag, rebel flag. Is it like a black ram? It might be. I've seen it in Concord. Or a truck like it. He just drives around. I swear. Well, gas all prices does, like this. Yeah, a lot of money. <laughs> Let's put the man. The, uh, gas prices will put will humble that man. Put in your money real where you mouth And PPP loans only glass so much. Yeah, <laughs> probably has two tanks in that thing. Probably. I switched tank to four hundred dollars to fill up this truck. Ugh. Real American oil. Yeah, because you know that Thanks, man Biden. has backup tanks. He's got his bug out bag and his backup tanks. He has his own pump at his house where he pumps his own gas. Yeah. He probably makes it out of like cooking oil and bacon. I'm a fresh professional <laughs> homeowner. I ain't going to run my car <laughs> off none of that. And I got grease. God, I, I hated that time when he my dad was like, <laughs> there was a time where my dad was thinking about getting his own fuel making kit. Hell you have yeah. to go to like McDonald's to get their grease and bring mm-hmm. it back and smell like French fries break driving it up down the road. Oh my god, my dad, it, well, just make gas ten cents a gallon. Yeah, right? yeah, we'll start selling it to the populace. Oh my gosh, and we'll go to jail. Yeah, you're the only one going to McDonald's asking them for their grease. They're probably like, no, you can't. Can have, I have your you oil? <laughs> no, actually, they probably sell it to like people doing that. Yeah. Like you can't just walk up. Can I get your old McDonald's? No, nah, we sell it over there to corporate Jimmy. 
<laughs> Core Virginia. I hated that time when my dad was thinking about doing that. So he thinks about he has bad ideas they most just of the time. Cheese cloth it for the next three years before they like trade it out. Ugh. Filtered three times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we ran it through a Brita. <laughs> <laughs> Got all them wastes out. Putrid oil. Well, don't you have to have like special mods on your car to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. We are talking about diesels too. No, I'm so. not saying like, oh, uh, put it in my gasoline. I think you put fryer baskets in there somewhere. <laughs> you gotta make it That's look like exhaust. a hamburger. That's your exhaust. Like, what well, you bring fryer. for lunch? Come here. I'll warm it up on my engine block. Well, Shit, it's good. Don't you have to like do something to your motor yeah. before you can just buy a diesel? Yeah, and up? you have to buy like a thousand dollar fucking refining kit too. It pay for itself in a year with these gas prices. <laughs> yeah, pay for itself in ten years. <laughs> it with Fuck it, filter. Tesla. Fuck it. Fuck Elon Musk. You know how still. much damage a lithium mine does to the world? While he's googling shit on his smartphone. Huh? <laughs> Can't believe these fucking people. We need it. I don't use. I use Duck Duck Go. Go bitch about capitalism on your laptop. Who's gonna bomb the Middle East if they don't got no lithium? <laughs> <laughs> this is unfair to society. You just watch. We're going to be like invading. Sign up to my side hustle. We're yeah. going to invade Bolivia <laughs> and Chile next. There you go. For That's lithium. It. Yeah. We need to. That's like the next war. I don't care. Well, we'll use Argentina as the, the catalyst. Oh, we've already got that going. Oh, yeah. All I'm worried about is building my fucking house. I don't care about it's Bolivia already, right now. We're going to be like Venezuela. Arge- Argentina. All right. The Nazis are still there. We're going to finally accept it. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool if you found them. the secret fucking community of Nazis. They probably, sure there's I mean, a city. They're, they're there. There is a city. I, mean, I think they already know where it's behind vines? No, there's just these random white cities <laughs> where they the speak German. City. I'm pretty sure I saw a podcast where a guy went down there and yeah. there's a full on city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's like a like mental bounty hospital. Bounty hunter guy. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's there's like a mental, there's like a hospital that's there that they experiment on people. Nice. Right. Like they just took everything that from there to there. Mm-hmm. From Germany to Hey, it's, it's simpler times. Simpler times. You know what? Pepper's Farm, remember. Yeah, <laughs> That's why they needed went down there and like, changed bond them. Hitler's Payoffs. Nazis, remember. <laughs> Payoffs will keep a lot of people quiet. Just send them to Afghanistan and take care of the yeah. problems. It probably costs more to eliminate them than it does just to leave them alone. That's why we hadn't done That's it. That's when they'll, they'll drive up north and team up with the cartel take out America. Oh, no, the yeah. Nazi doctors will like, take care of their kids. Be like, yeah. you need to come to a doctor? Take out your appendix. We's in the free house care. Wake up missing your limbs. Oh, <laughs> Squirming. Like one of, yeah, one of your kids, like, we, we checked a smallpox vaccine on him. <laughs> oh, monkeypox. Now he's got monkeypox. No, that's from having butt play. Yeah. Yeah, smallpox is back, too. That's what the media says. Who knows? I don't know. Where'd COVID come from? Well, that's why they're downplaying monkeypox, because they don't want people to not have sex. I heard that's how you got AIDS from fucking monkeys. Don't, don't talk about that. Without eating brains. Probably both. Getting brain from monkey. I think it's, racist people said they fuck monkeys. I think in real life you ate the monkey. And I think it. homophobic people started the whole AIDS come from a man fucking a monkey and now like. Isn't that the plot of Dallas Buyers Club? Well, was it Congo. from a, was it AIDS? The plot of Congo. Was oh, okay. AIDS <laughs> from a monkey having <laughs> sex with a monkey? A man having sex with a monkey? Was that legitimately how AIDS started? I think that was a, a rumor, but I think it was from eating the monkey. Brain, to the right? internet. How did age start? I think like the the the, the southern boomer was just like chimpanzee. There's goddamn monkeys over there. <laughs> this thing says oh. that we ate chimpanzees. And yeah, that's how I got eat. We they, did. Yeah, because people did, like human, the Africans didn't spread. Yeah, they probably didn't cook it properly. They just probably ate like raw monkey meat and then got AIDS and then that that was that. Some dude in Congolese was the first person to get it. Because then it's like you could spread AIDS just by like it pour, says pouring in, blood on each other or spitting in someone's mouth or something. That's well, why in, Africa was like rampant with AIDS. I don't think you could just cook out an infection. No, in Africa, you take someone's virginity to get rid of it. Yep. You kill your <laughs> firstborn <laughs> son. Magic. Yeah. You, <laughs> oh, yeah, you make a black cauldron and keep killing people until it goes away. Even if that monkey was infected, I don't think Dang. you can cook out the infection. Yeah, you can, that's how you, I think you Dang. can, but you'd be dead. Yeah. It's like that deer virus. All right, so then it started in Africa, <laughs> uh-huh. and then it somehow made it over to the United States. Well, because mission trips and stuff. Everyone okay. Trying to be a Samaritan. If everybody would just, like, fuck them and stay here. Oh, so yeah. you're saying a religious person went over there and yeah. somehow had sex with someone. Well, you, know, you can get it from no. drinking a drink or open cut. Yeah. You get AIDS from drinking a drink? Yeah, it was such a big issue because, like... You don't you get could, AIDS from butt sex. Yeah, only. you could get it if someone spit on you. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you have to have an open sword, oh, that's, though. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's why, that's like, why it's an issue. I think that's why, like, butt sex... 
spreads it. Yeah, the membrane. And yeah, that's why it's we an were... issue for people in the kitchen and stuff, because if they don't wash their hands and go like that or do like that and then touch your food, they could pass it to you. Well, like if, a contagion if, they had, like, if they had cuts. You know what I mean, though. Like, okay, they're using a knife and cut their hand a little well, bit. I'm just saying because, food. like, it used to be a thing where everybody was like, don't touch Magic Johnson, he'll give you a... It's well, like, it's like you can... You, yeah. I think you can get um, also hepatitis C of in a restaurant. Yes. I think. This is one of them where like, you're not allowed to work in restaurants, right? Yeah, it's one of those, or all of them. But you can get rid of hepatitis C. It just takes a little... What is that? I don't know. AIDS is what? Time on. Why is there a teardrop coming off his ear? He's sad. <laughs> He's sad. He's crying. He's crying. <laughs> um... Uh, Elizabeth broke it all down to me one day about how things are transmitted and, uh, you know, it makes you sweat, ulcers, chillies, swollen lymph, lymph nodes. Shit, I've had one of those for like two Get months rash, now. I guess you got AIDS, for, or you just uh, have lymphoma, or yeah, cancer. Spread of HIV from chimpanzees to human. Earliest case of AIDS appears in the Midwest. Epidemic. It was just easy to spread. Had it started in the Midwest. Missionaries, Bible Belt, probably got Oklahoma. Oh, I will be owner. Yeah, but they had to get they had <laughs> was to employed by the deep state. <laughs> the funny <laughs> thing is, <laughs> Sandy Hook going real and an artifact from the Bible there. Midwest, museum. so 1968. I guess they could have landed an airplane. Stones. <laughs> it's a vial of the OG AIDS there. <laughs> Somebody does at the Hobby Lobby Museum in Oklahoma. I think didn't they take it back? <laughs> No, it's theirs. Like the Iraqi stuff they stole? That's like, where Archive is at, too. That gilf thing or whatever uh, it is? The worst thing about that <laughs> is I think they had to give something back to Iraq, and, then, I, and then Iraq destroyed it. Yeah. Some oh, yeah they, some, <laughs> yeah, they gave it back, and they were like, fuck your Christianity. <laughs> ISIS. Yeah, like, ISIS, ISIS did it. Why ISIS did we give it? it? What's Iraq going to do? Come over here? I see them try. <laughs> it's the right thing to do, Alex. <laughs> they can't make a boat. You don't want activists outside your store picking and all them... There, there's not going to be no fucking Iraqi activists over here. No, the, right, acti- right, 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 the activists are going to be like, let us get birth control. <laughs> True. Like, ha- Dude, Hobby Lobby should be proud, man. They don't work on Sunday. Hobby Lobby is kind of messed up, though. Just, they are, like, but they get Sunday off. We don't believe in a birth control. I know, man. I'm, I'm the most artistic on a Sunday, and I can't get my art supplies. <laughs> you can go Michael's. Dude, yeah, you drive by Chick-fil-A and Hobby Lobby, you just get mad. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> Lord was not shining on me God, this day. GD all the way down the road. GD when you go by Hobby Lobby and GD at Chick Fil A drive through. That was wasted ten minutes to, of my life. My Mike. church is Chick Fil A. That's where I go on Sundays. That's why I started going to Michaels and Zaxby's. There you go. Yep. <laughs> They're open seven days a week. Real capitalism there. <laughs> yeah. The Lord can't capitalism stop that. Capitalism gives you choices. I don't yeah. want people get mad about yeah, that. Zaxby's is okay. It's a buzzword. Really have a Popeyes. That big ass piece of fucking okay. bread. Popeyes is good food, but shitty service. I've never had Popeyes. Really? It tastes like it sounds. Yeah. Popeyes is good. Their dude. service is asshole. <laughs> Every time you go, it's shitty service, but the food is good. Means. I've had good service at that Popeyes in Concord. Nah, man. They, they're always just like, hold on, honey. And like 20 minutes later, it's just like, all right, go on in, honey. Nah, Bojangles no, is pretty good, too. Funny. That's racist. Do y'all like Bojangles? Bojangles yeah. is okay. I love y'all got I any Supremes? It. No, we don't serve them until 1030. When 10, did that start? That'd be 10 always. minutes. That's always lunch. Some have them. Some have them at, bre- on bre- at breakfast. Chicken tenders is a lunch item. Like yeah. the one in China Grove does I can subpar. Get, I can get them sometimes Dude, at 8 o'clock in the morning. You got to sweet them up a little bit. You got to sweet Dude, them up. Dude, the one in China Grove does subpar chicken tenders. Yeah, if you yeah. go if you go there every day for breakfast and order the same thing, they'll start making it for you every breakfast. <laughs> Do you go there every day? No. Oh. I'm just saying. Okay. They'll learn who you are, you'll become a regular, and then they'll keep it ready for you. Is oh. Fast, can you really become a regular at a fast food place, though? Yeah. I'll do that and never come back. Like, yeah. As soon as I go there and they're like, chicken, and they, as soon as the person's like, tell that, me my order when I get there, I never go back to that that's place. That's how, how I met my ex. <laughs> <laughs> I became a regular. Nice. And look what happened. There's a TV Bojangles show there. too, huh? Mm-hmm. There's a TV show there, How I Met Your Ex. Mm-hmm. Did they have good chicken at that one? It was all right. It's about like all the other ones. That's one that has mold in it. It, it does. Or make, a chicken yeah. head. No, seriously, that place has mold in that. Don't eat it. Don't eat that Bojangles. Yeah. It's a little sketch. <laughs> like, I eat there a lot, like, quite a bit. You roll the dice. They have, they have mold in that. You guys been to Sunshine's <laughs> down the road? Nope. What is that? What? It's the on, breakfast place, right? The the new breakfast place on the corner of Delaware oh, Boulevard old, and that 29. Old mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it good? 
Yeah, it's just a bunch of Hispanic ladies that serve you too. Oh man, it's what, like way what do they better. serve. What do they serve? Breakfast. No, like food. Breakfast food. Just like bacon and eggs. Yeah, crepes too. What? I'd, I'd go for some Mexicans crepes. make crepes. Crazy, dude. Why wouldn't they just have breakfast burritos? It's all that language, man. They should have breakfast burritos. They give probably, them a give them a recommendation. Probably be banging, man. So is it better than getting up at five a.m. and going to Jimmy's? Fuck or bre- do breakfast time too. Fuck Jimmy. <laughs> it's tough to get a. It's tough to get a spot at breakfast time sometimes. You want bland ass fucking grits? Liver mush. I like liver mush, but not. Jimmy, Jimmy's don't cook it right. Best liver mush in town. Got to go to Jimmy's. They used to be good. I'm sure that's just like some old person saying. It is. Boomer shit. So you got to step up your game. You got to go over there to townhouse too. Bo- <laughs> Boomers yeah. go to Jimmy's. Get man. your breakfast from townhouse. Are we about to like tier list all the restaurants in China Grove <laughs> that sure. no one knows? It's Brian's Grill. Fuck Brian's has Grill. Has good like bear. Bread. Has good burgers yeah, though. Like they're, no, they're not. How they're, do you get that taste? How can they're you? They're bland ass fucking burgers. That's why you leave it on the grill twenty extra minutes. No, I, I like the taste of it. The dry ass hamburger meat that's overly done. I don't Brian's think so. Okay, Brian's Grill. Is what not they good. should do is toast their buns, the inside of the bun. That's what they should do. They should use lock, seasoning. Lock in the flavor. Don't let the bun absorb all that moisture. You that's what, they that's should what do. Cheese and chili on it. They should have lettuce and pickles. The version, no, 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 the no, version no, no, in not Salisbury. Not a dive bar. Not a dive bar. The Salisbury one's better. There's a Haps. Brian's Grill in Salisbury. Haps, right? Haps. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. His, that's his brother. It's Haps. the same thing. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, Haps is the brother. Of, I don't know. His name's not Haps. <laughs> <laughs> what if his name is Haps? He's but you're, around, I was like, what's up? Maybe what's, I'm an asshole. What's the happening, hey, Haps? What's happening? What's Man. happening, Haps? <laughs> Are you sure, though, it's his brother? Yes. Yeah. It's the same thing. I didn't know that. I think one puts onions in the burger, right? Ugh. The other one don't. I don't, I don't like that. That's Which one does that? Yeah, stank breath. Probably Must Haps. be the one in Salisbury, because I like <laughs> yeah. the burgers in China Grove. I'm pretty sure China Grove does it, too. Well, I didn't go in well, there. You have now. to put onion in the meat. Oh, come on! Onion and meat like gives a different flavor. Yeah, if it's mixed yeah. in as a seasoning. I don't like it. My dad used to do it, and I would ask my you dad. You can taste to... onion in the meat when it's cooked. I just yeah. sometimes I don't like their burgers. How it's just like it's not a burger. Maybe my dad doesn't cook it right. Maybe not. <laughs> you ever had like like the burger soft? Yeah, I like the I Arby's like... burger, the Wagyu burger. I want to try that. Were they sous it or whatever? Wait, they have a Wagyu yes. burger. Yeah, at a yeah Arby's has Arby's, Arby's. It's uh, like forty three percent Wagyu. Dude, it's five ninety nine. I want to forty three percent. Do you Wagyu. have wine with it? No, but they don't actually grill it. They sous it, yeah. where they just steam it. I like how Thomas so, knows this too. I, I read the article because yeah. I was going to get it, and then I was like, eh, because when you bite it, it's not like a burger taste. It's like mush because <sighs> it's a medium well. Dude, it's five dollars. Right. It's five dollars and ninety nine cents. You're supposed to eat it raw. That's not bad. The, I, know, I mean, the reviewers said it was good. People yeah. reviewing it are like, it's a good burger, but it's like a big fucking burger. They're like, it's too yeah, big but is it for a big what it burger is. Versus like, if you go to Porky's. You know how much it's burger, probably better than Porky's. You know how much burger you can get from Hardee's? Yeah, come on, Porky's pretty good. Hardee's yeah. is not that Big good. Big G burger. Yeah, but you can get a lot of burger. But it's not that good. That's a huge. I, I kind of like what? a burger. I kind of like the taste of a Hardee's burger. It's depend. I have to be in the mood for it. It's like a char I feel like shit after eating it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, every time I eat oh. Hardee's, I feel like shit. Like, after I go in going like, "This is gonna be fucking good." That's a good segue. And then I eat it. I'm like, <sighs> you get you one of these, the Proud Whopper. No, I don't Why know. is there two? What? It's well, the Pride oh, Whopper. No. <laughs> no. Good segue. No. Get you the Pride Whopper. It's got either two tops or two bottoms. <laughs> what? What if you order all the bottoms? Where's all the top going? <laughs> Time to be proud. Pride Whopper. Yeah, I want. Wait, I want, I want the top. <laughs> just go. You order. ask him which one you want. I don't know if you like roll the dice or what. I definitely don't want two fucking. No, I want butts. two tops. I no, want two I, tops, I don't want baby. tops. I want all bottoms. All, all you like tops. a? You want an all bottom? No, look at the top. That looks nasty. That's no, better, that looks good. No, better than a fucking Frisco burger you get yeah. next to it. You're gonna be getting sesame Frisco. seeds all in your lap. Dude, I would rather have the Frisco than that. That's too much bread. No, uh, I'll take the. I'll take those seeds and I'll let them. I got one in my belly. Buy two and swap the bread. <laughs> I got two regular you, whoppers. Use the app so you can yeah. get two whoppers for seven dollars. Yeah, I'm yeah. only by the two I, fucked this, I fucked the system on that one. I ain't getting two tops. I'm swapping the bread. <laughs> but that one's got mayonnaise on it. Wait, I, it's two I, for I'll, make it, I'll make it off. It's two care. for seven now. On the, on the app, you can get like two whoppers for like seven. And I remember like a month ago, it was two for five. I don't know what it is. It's a lot of raw ass onion no, on the burger. No. The Whoppers do I, have raw ass. This is it's tripping bad. me out there. I can't tell if the burger is upside down or not. We have a bunch of options, dude. We got I don't that. Like we got what a burger, not yeah, I, water burger. I, I just You're saw right. this today, yeah. and it's kind of funny. We were talking about burgers. I can't this, leave a, a top only. You gotta use that Burger King app, man. Nice. Get them them I, perks rewards. Do you like the uh, 
Mexican place beside the family place in China Grove? Oh, yeah. No, no, no way, way Jose. Jose. No yeah. way Jose. That place is a little sketchy. Wow. Well, it's good, man. That's the best place to eat, man. Yeah, that's great. There you go, buddy. Get 20... some of their guacamole fresco. If they I'm make gonna... it in, at the table. Oh, it's so good. If I'm going to be honest, I like the fast casual. That's all I want you to be, be honest. I, want, I like the fast casual Mexican place by his house. Oh. You can get oh, all the one used to be called Browns. Hybrid place. Yeah. The place that would oh, put the, fries the fusion, and shit. The it's busy Mexican on Tuesday. Grace. I drove past on Tuesday that and it's slamming. Is actually good. The Fusion Mexican is pretty good. They got yeah. a little salsa bar. Mm-hmm. Go to a Taco Express in Canapolis. Yeah, you can get a. Is that the one by the one QT? Time. Yes, in front of the QT. Yeah, yeah. Get you some Southwest tacos. <laughs> good. Wait, in that little strip mall area? Yeah. 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 I've always wondered if it's good because oh, it hasn't so closed good. down yet. I've been there like one time. It was pretty good. It was it's good. good. You can go over there off of 29 and eat at that uh, that trailer thing that's in front of that like 419 church. No, oh, is that that place? At, at Oriel Braswell. Oh, is that the place that's got do- <laughs> no, $1.50 hot that. dogs? Dude, the people are sitting there like Gliz- waiting. $1.50 glizzies? They, people are sitting on the picnic tables in front of the smokers waiting on their food <laughs> every time uh, I pass by. Dude, my, that one or the one at the, at the BP in front of Porky's? My, yes. da- my dad knows these trailer like hot dog places. I don't know about that. <laughs> Hey, yeah. bring Dad's home. a glizzy king. Yeah. Yeah, he would bring some glizzies home. You get uh, two two Whopper Juniors and two small fries for five dollars. Two Whopper Juniors and two small fries for five dollars. I hope your dad. You need to teach your dad the word glizzy, glizzy. and then get him to use <laughs> like, it all the time to overuse. I'll get two glizzies over easy uh, all the way. <laughs> Dude, if we had a Costco near here, would y'all get glizzies? Dude, I can get. You can get a gl- a Costco the fifty glizzy. I'm not gonna oh, buy so. a membership just to get hot dogs. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Would you buy a Sam's Club membership if it was eighteen dollars for the year? Why the fuck does that matter? <laughs> He's trying to sell I, I'm you getting one. one for it's eighteen bucks. It's like normally fifty dollars for. And the when year. I join up, you get like a five dollar rebate in the mail. Yeah, no, yeah, fuck out of here. No, off you. <laughs> no, I, I, already, I don't like capitalism. I already have a membership. <laughs> How much was it? The normal price twenty five. Fifty bucks. Yeah, there you go. Eighteen dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one. Twenty two dollar family deets. bundle. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, three. Three Whoppers? You haven't even stepped foot in the Sam's Club. It'll be your first time. I've never been to Costco either. I haven't, I haven't been in a Costco. I go to the, I go to the port and the regular people at the grocery people stores. Walmart? I go to, I've never been Ew. A- Dude, I will get a Costco membership, a BJ's membership, and a Sam's. We'll go. We'll do like a circuit. Does it come with like a thing? Like a, it's just Costco. Costco's only in Charlotte we'll re- and like Mooresville, right? Mooresville. Yeah, we'll yeah. review the glizzies from all three locations. Whoa. Yeah. Trick got, question. Wait, wait, wait. Are wait, they the same meat? Which glizzy? Glizzy. Glizzy. <laughs> I, 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 I can't yeah. wait to have a glizzy. Glizzy. I, I, I said glizzy as I was trying to think of BJ's. <laughs> <laughs> like, there you I go. I was like, which glizzy you get? This glizzy BJ's, ain't going to suck itself. You're like, like, this glizzy's glistening. <laughs> you're like gasifying the glizzy. I don't all got right. this glizzy out just to air it out. <laughs> this glizzy. I want it all the way. <laughs> you relish what on were you glizzy? saying? <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, I didn't know. They had glizzies at BJ's. I thought it was like a, uh, like an Ollie's. <laughs> Ollie's? <laughs> what are you talking about, Ollie's? Ollie's? Are you talking about that discount store by the Water Burger? Oh, the Ollie's? Is it Ollie's Aldi? or Ollie's? Ollie's in Mooresville. Oh, oh. there's an oh. Ollie's in Concord too. You know, parents- behind the behind Chick Fil A. My dad loves Ollie's. I've been there. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, what are you it's, talking about? It's like you know the Ollie's now. You know the Chick Fil A that's closer to the racetrack. Mm-hmm. Now yeah, twenty nine. Yeah, yeah. There's an Ollie's behind that. Behind it's like, that, it's, it's like, like a, the old man face. Yeah, that, it's like a discount store. It's kind of like a big lots. It yeah, 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 sucks. Yeah, yeah, big, yeah. Oh fuck! See, to me, it sucks to me, in there. BJ's is like the the uh, Sam's Club is the Walmart. Mm-hmm. BJ's yeah. is the big lots. No, uh, that's all, all, I always thought. They're that. all just like Sam's. Club. So it's Costco. I just laugh. When I see BJ's because I'm immature. Fuck. Costco is probably the bar yeah, that they aspire Target. to be. Yeah, Costco is like the you know it's the, the Target. red, it's Target, Sam's Club, yeah. Walmart. It's like the upper tier. It's like oh, I ain't go to Costco. Sam's has some My pretty dad, good uh, food. My BJ's dad like, goes to Costco and he's always like, "Yeah, we're at Costco." See, anytime I talk to him, he's like, about it. <laughs> "He's living no, at anytime, Costco." Anytime I talk to him or text him, he's like, "Yeah, I'm just leaving Costco." He just, Every single you time. had no <laughs> idea, but your dad just works at Costco. <laughs> he's he's retired. He might. Is it <laughs> overrated because get him a dollar fifty glizzy and drink though? You can't buy the Grey Goose vodka like store brand there because. Mm. ABC laws. So I'm what just you saying, get, if I was gonna go, I what mean, you get, you get, you get, where do you like get, where do you get that? Pale, pale geese. Like you got to go to South Carolina. <laughs> so you get, uh, white pale, geese. No, you, you really. get eggshell mallard. Like they're, they're <laughs> what are we doing? Their alcohol section is like legendary. White duck. Okay, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> what we need to do is make that type of store, mm-hmm. but for hardware. Harbor Freight. 
Lowe's like food. Cut out Lowe's, cut out Home Depot. And you'd be Harbor Freight? No, it's not like Harbor Freight. They Northern got a, Tool? A membership only. Oh, oh, for tools? Hardware lumber store. Well, that's the pro section at so, Lowe's. Yeah, but take, oh, yeah, take the pro section <laughs> and make it a whole store. <laughs> Call it the Lowe's Pros? <laughs> So you can buy like pro Lowe's. Of, yeah, pro Lowe's, and then instead of <laughs> I'm going to pro Lowe's. instead of getting the contractor pack that has like 36 oh. tubes of caulk in it, yeah, you can get like the super contractor pack with like the corporation cor- pack. Cor- okay. cor- pack. I-, I see it <laughs> with see, 100 caulks in it. You you start out with pro Lowe's, and then 10 years later you hip you hipster it up to PL, and then when you when you file bankruptcy, everyone can do pro lapse jokes. Pro- <laughs> yeah, cause that definitely ain't lasting. <laughs> We got prolapsed. <laughs> I will say that pro-lose, pro-lose. the benefit of join, joining Sam's Club is for their cheaper gas, too. Yes. So. I always thought that if, if Lowe's and Walmart or, or if Walmart got a lumber section, it would end all stores. That's true. It would. If you put a hardware it. lumber section. Walmart at, just buys out Lowe's. I mean, their hardware yeah. section is like very. You ever buy hardware yikes. at Walmart? <laughs> Look yikes. At this hammer. Yikes, man. It's uh. More to be desired there. Everything's yellow or orange. You can get you can get paint shaking there. That's like yeah, you can get paint shaking. Walmart's where you go. You can get the pliers where you squeeze the pliers and you can just take them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. Pro, it's true. called pro theft. <laughs> pro theft. That's called giving it away. Give if it it's back. that easy, just to squeeze the pliers and, and they fall out. off. You're asking for it. Yeah. Where do you guys stand on Killdozer? Do you approve of them, or do you uh, right. not? Because yesterday was the anniversary of Killdozer. So, Killdozer anniversary. is a legend, but if you read into the story, he was actually an asshole. So, they took a lot from him. They took a lot from him, but they offered him fair compensation. Did they? Yes. What did they offer him? They offered him a shit ton of money for his land, and he was just like, nah. Kind of the old man for Better Call Saul. Yeah, he kept holding out, kept holding out. Then he kind of had a mental breakdown. Marvin. How much money did they offer him? We'll find out. We might need a SWAT team. (laughs) Might need a fucking IED. Dude, they brought out heavy equipment to combat his heavy equipment. (laughs) Freedom First Media. Here we go. It's like, it's like. Damn, dude. (laughs) All right. It's like, uh. Robot wars, but just on a huge scale. On like He's actual armored people. Up a fucking dozer. People scale. He dropped down. That. Why is it in many libertarian circles? June Fourth is known as Kill Dozer Day. They called it a sarcophagus. He lowered the the armored section down onto the dozer, well, he knowing he would never come out of it. He oh. killed himself inside the dozer because he couldn't get it. Yeah. It was he like, he was like, this is my last stand. So and then he drove it. through the concrete factory that was right in front of the. Uh, muffler shop. Yep. Then yep. he went to everybody went else's up in house. Disregard. Yeah. So what he uh, let's see there it is. Lowered the armored shell onto the bulldozer, <laughs> entombing himself inside the killdozer to make his last stand. He bust forth the walls of his muffler shop and straight into the concrete factory that <laughs> ruined his business over the course of the next several hours. He drove his killdozer through thirteen buildings owned by those officials that had wronged him, including the city council building itself. So he had like a little slit he could see out of, and it was just like, um, or he had like some GPS American, and some GoPros and shit. The last great American folk hero. So they offered him two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for his two acres. He accepted it, and then he reneged. Oh, it said uh, it said SWAT teams swarmed the dozer trying to find any way they could mm-hmm. to stop it. I just think of that scene in Saving Private Ryan when all the when like 14 guys are on that one tank trying to like sticky bomb it, <laughs> it and then the, the Germans the come around the corner the one the, the German uh, turret comes around the corner and like bah, 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 bah. there's guys <laughs> there losing their bodies and their heads it. look at that thing yeah he literally so yeah. you know that he you know that he had video cameras encased in bulletproof glass and he had monitors inside of the sarcophagus damn so he could see where he was going he I'm, didn't have I'm any more impressed ports. That he had it like perfectly fit so he could get in there it took him months <coughs> to build that to to uh and then once he set it down he locked it in and said let's go they couldn't just blow the tracks off yeah they had sticky bombs and socks <laughs> Give me your socks. <laughs> I think it, oh, there was the meme, Thomas. That's the piece of equipment that they tried to bring out to con- to like stop him. No, 
<laughs> and he just fucking destroyed. Get out of oh, my way. See, so he kind of. They, they needed another dozer. He kind of yeah. died. A, dude, bigger, dude, dude, a big truck thing. So, Rhinos slamming each other. So he's like, I'll sell you my land for 250 And then he's like, ha, psych. I'll actually sell it to you for 375 that's not a that's not a bad counter offer. No, he agreed to two fifty, and then oh, and like, tried to get more money. And, and then, they but were actually, like, no. I want three seventy five. After he had agreed to it, trade on loose, you trade on. Oh well, yeah. Don't block. And my then he upped the ante again. He uh, demanded a million dollars. Hmm. Now look what they look what they came out of pocket. They should have paid him the three seventy five because no. now they got millions of dollars in damage. It's not, well, like no, it's not, with the, they're uh, not liable the for it. The fucking glints. Lost the city, yeah, and it's all on Killdozer's uh, home insurance or whatever he had. Oh, I mean, think about it. What if he didn't have any insurance? So I want to buy your car for two thousand dollars, and you're shirt. just like three thousand. So instead, I just make you crazy and make you like kill yourself and buy your car for two thousand. Ooh, ooh. Trick question. I don't go crazy, and I don't give a fuck. I block your number. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Trick, trick, turnaround. Not a trick <laughs> question. Gotcha. Well, yeah, instead was... though, but you don't block your number. Instead, you're like, all right, well, I'm gonna take my bicycle and like encase it in concrete and drive it around China Grove. I'm surprised just... he wasn't shooting guns out of it. Like... He had one gun. It was to kill himself. Like, like, I'm surprised he wasn't like. Pow, 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 pow. Because most people that do that shit, they have a gun and they're shooting out of it too. Wait, what's that picture right there of the rifle? That there's a no one lower. This. Then over the one with the gun in it. What is that? Maybe he did. He might have. But he never killed him. No. Never... What is that? That's him, man. That's a Barrett? Yeah, a little hatch. Just look at his TV screen so you could see where he was going. Oh, that's one uh, of He did TVs. have a 50 cal, a 308, and a 22. <laughs> okay, so never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> he he could have fucked somebody if he wanted to. He got Maybe s- hit him. So he, I think he got stuck. He drove into someone's yeah, house in and he went down in their basement. Yeah, and he was <laughs> stuck there. So he's like, "Fuck it, yeah. dumbass." Look at that thing. That's how you take back what you. Uh, the thing was, he didn't uh, kill anybody, so he would have went to jail for property damage and been out in a couple years. Look how smart yeah. he is. Look how angled the armor is, like yeah. tank technology. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, he researched it. The only way to get out was for them to break him out. Yeah. Instead, they, I guess, somehow, oh, he killed himself. He shot himself. Killed yeah. himself, yeah. He was ready to take a tank around. <laughs> what, what What? about that? This is when it's like they come around. Like, National Guard brings out an M1 and just <laughs> takes it out with a fucking uranium. Or it's like they get him out and then the police department hires him to make armored vehicles for the police department. <laughs> he could turn into a career. And like, then they just, if you can. The FBI. Yeah, then, then the uh, then the pol- local police department just looked like a bunch of orcs driving around. It was like fucking Uvalde or whatever. Oh, yeah, place. they just stand outside arresting oh, people yeah, watching. Fucking space orcs. It's <laughs> fucking... like, well, we don't know how to stop this, but we'll arrest you for watching it. Yeah. Don't yell at me. I don't know what you're doing. Isn't the, isn't the orc lore, if you can dream it, it happens? That's the internet. No, that's the orc, like the four, Warhammer 40K orc lore. Is it? Yeah, like uh, the the if they dream it up. It happens. it happens. It's like orc magic. Okay. I, <laughs> don't I feel like that's what happened here. I mean, that's that's just a just good old a, American uh, ingenuity. I think he just went crazy, dude. Yeah, give pushed me, him. Give him a million dollars or, or I'll take your land, and then he thinks he's been wronged. Yeah, it's like... Like, he's an asshole, too. It's like it's one of those things, he went crazy and never came back, because this took... He's just an long. asshole, because he renegotiated... He no. said he accepted, and then he, he asked for a higher agreed. price. That's and what makes him an asshole? He, he accepted an offer, then he backed out, and he's like, I want more. Who says he accepted and Then he the backed offer. out again, and he wanted a million dollars. It says he, off- he accepted that's it. The, that's the corporate news making that story up. That's that propaganda. Now, I don't, for a second, I, I do believe they screwed with him, too. I'm not saying it's oh, all. yeah. Well, it's only one side. We're here about your car's extended warranty. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> did he get his money, or did they just... they they. Put a road in that blocked off access to his muffler shop. They basically were like, "All right, we'll take care of this ourselves. Like, if you're gonna be crazy, we'll just we'll just go around you. We'll work around you." And then he built a killdozer. He went insane, like you said. He's like, "It's cool that he already had one." He bought it just so he could take <laughs> care of the. He was gonna. I'm gonna lease this. I'll, so I only need it for like thirty days. He was gonna. He was going to. <laughs> Fix all the problems that they want that they were bring coming up with. He was like, "Oh, I'll I will handle. I'll come out of my pocket to make the roads, and we'll we'll work together, and we'll come together with the with a solution." And he bought the equipment, 
And then all this shit happened. So the equipment that he bought ended up becoming a kill dozer. I mean, just the idea of he's like, well, I'll just kill myself at the end. That's pretty impressive, though, how he was able to pour that cast. What? That's just steel welded together. Is that steel? I thought that was concrete. No, that's metal. Where's the concrete at? Inside. He he I put that was uh, a cast. He he probably either sandbag concrete mm. like uh okay, like so did he, sandbag style. So he did his weld and then poured concrete in it. Maybe, yeah. I mean, like little concrete concrete <laughs> That's walls. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not. I don't endorse it, but it's like pretty. It's a pretty sweet like engineering. They they tipped him over a couple edges just it's to do a, that. It's exactly what you want for the end of the world. It's like if you needed to clear a path through yeah, a horde he, of zombies. You have that. You rule the world. Everybody no. follows behind you. That you know. There's no way out of it with them diesel prices. You could crush through a horde of a, zombies. No, but once you lower the killdozer down. Oh well, in this instance, in the in the event of the world, end door, of the world, you have, you have a, a oh, yeah, okay. you have one of the hatches yeah. with the with the submarine so, yeah. lock. You can retrofit it. Mm. Yeah, so when it last starts cutting heads off, you drive that over there. Yeah. The zombies, they don't know how to Gallows. open up a door. They just slam their hands on the side of a vehicle, and Ooh. that's it. Until they get jammed in the track. You don't even need a door. Technically, they're not, they're not, they don't even know there's a whole door up there. They're idiots. Well, you need the door for people. There's probably one weak spot in the whole thing. Well, you, you see don't that, know about it. There's a guy on top of the kill dozer. He's probably just looking for an entrance, and there's like, there is no. Oh, get in the thing. I got it, y'all. <laughs> Throw, he just turns it sideways and throws him off. <laughs> <laughs> Runs over him. Um, I just think it's so awesome that they brought out another piece of big machinery just try to stop him. I wish he would have belly rolled that thing, like just got on its side and rolled that thing over. <laughs> they brought out a grater to stop him. <laughs> it's not the same thing. <laughs> I, just, know, I want to see the dumbass's idea. That he was like, we'll bring this grater yeah, out there. Whose grater was that? That, came, that was an expensive-ass fucking idea. It was probably like the county's. <laughs> probably, yeah, probably the city, yeah. Well, I, really, salt and roads. I really just want to see that thing and another bulldozer just go out there and start slapping bellies, Is it fucking st- ramming each other like a couple elephants, Does man. Does that still exist, or did they dismantle it? It's in the Smithsonian. Is it? I don't know. It probably <laughs> is. I'd buy a bolt. I mean, that thing's it's a it's uh, it's probably too big to keep around. They probably just like the FBI it guaranteed the FBI has the kill dozer. It's in a bunker somewhere. It's in yeah. It's in like Bruce Wayne's house. I mean, it's in some <laughs> FBI storage facility. Yeah. The killdozer here. It's in, like, the presidential bunker in Arizona. I wonder what they do with the killdozer's body. Let's, that they left it's it still, in there. It's still in there. It's, still in there. <laughs> it's just a skeleton. We never could get him out. He's just like this with a gun in his hand. It's like... <laughs> it became a tomb. <laughs> That'd be some shit. Like, they just never move it. They leave it there. It's, an, like, it's a landmark. Like I built my own tomb. Hmm. Well. The next civilization finds it and mines it. They're like, what the fuck is this prehistoric shit? What were they doing? They made a documentary. Have you guys watched it on Netflix about the Killdozer? No. No. I didn't watch it either. <laughs> <laughs> the name, it, kind of self-explanatory. Yeah, I kind of knew. You, know? <laughs> you could read the article and figure it yeah, out. See, like, I've, I've read enough about it. I'd rather like read up about, or watch a thing about Doc Ante or Ante, whatever his name is. Yeah, I'd, I would. That Myrtle Beach guy. Yeah, I'm back on War Thunder. I'd rather play a, uh, a few rounds of War Thunder instead of watch that fucking documentary. All right. I don't know what that is. PC game? He fly, well, he flies across all consoles, or, right. across all platforms. I'd rather play uh, Diablo Immortal, but that's just me. Hey, I downloaded it. On console? It. I downloaded it. You like that fucking monetizing? Ooh. I, the, uh, I, I don't quite understand it good. yet. I pretty much cleared my portfolio so I could have a level maxed out character. <laughs> On Diablo, mm-hmm. it's the pay to win game. And that's How much even... have you paid though? How much have you paid any of yours, or is it free to play? Forty five thousand dollars. Wow. Okay. What about you, Thomas? No, it's free. Okay, so you're going free to play. Yeah, I just... but everything's monetized as like a motherfucker in that mm-hmm. game. Yeah, they give you the they give you they lure you in with incentives to get better and like the stuff slow like, like the legendary shit you got to earn is like yeah it costs a hundred. It's a slow grind, so it's faster to pay. Hundred thousand dollars for a max character. Mm-hmm. Oh God. What? Yeah. Really? Wait, yeah. of real money? Yes. Real money. Yay. You can't grind yeah. to that? You can't over several years. Oh, it's one of those gotcha games. Like, you only get, what, three yeah. of those legendary pieces per season or something, or a month? And you need a bunch of them to make gear? So, like, it, and the thing is, like, it's, it's that shady shit where it's, like, the dun- the riff run, you can buy the, the, the special version, is like $20, mm-hmm. but it only go in, like, $5 increments to buy. 
Oh. So you had to spend twenty five dollars to buy the twenty dollar dungeon run. Yep. Which you're guaranteed legend stuff, but like if you die, you lose your thing. I think. Like it's a very and if bad you, practice. And if you buy something, and then don't play the game for a week, it'll disappear. Yeah. What? Yeah. How is that? It's, really? it's, it's the most egregious monetization of anything. Really? Why will it go away if you don't play? Say so spend more later, I guess. Why? <laughs> like this game is has the worst oh monetization goodness. of any game I think ever, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I see people trying to blame Microsoft, but they don't even own them yet. Yeah, this this was made already. Yeah, this this was already well, in the like, books. Microsoft don't even own them until like next year. Yeah, this yeah. has nothing to do with Microsoft. Yeah, they've yeah, been working on this game for a while. War Thunder is the same. You gotta like grind through the tank list, and then uh, or you know get Spend it old. paid and get it faster. And I saw on Reddit where a guy said he spent almost thirty thousand dollars on War Thunder. And then where they get you with that stuff is every season they bring out new attachments mm-hmm. and armors and stuff so you have to spend more money to get the things and play more time because they always release new content that you gotta you gotta grind out everything's doing it now like even destiny because like, it makes money hey, yeah you wanna do this uh holiday event pay ten dollars to earn it it makes money mm-hmm. it's crazy look they've made thirty thousand dollars off of that one guy rather than just selling him the game once he's now managed to buy they make it more money off microtransactions yeah because yeah. it's like 60 bucks it's apparently a couple, 30, well, a couple wells keep it up mm-hmm I uh, I haven't spent a dime on War Thunder, but I hardly ever play it. But then some people, I don't know. You're know, like you said, you're they're they're climbing up through the ranks a lot faster. I like the free to play. Have you spent money with a uh, Destiny or Halo? Yeah, I have. Yeah, uh, Halo. <laughs> have you, Chris? Either one spent money? Uh, I bought fingernail polish to have skin <laughs> for my Spartan. I don't know why you're laughing. You did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Halo's still fine. I like playing it once in a while. I think I break yeah. from it, but yeah. it's, it's periodic. It's, it's, it's like every couple weekends you play. It's a yeah. good little breather. Yeah. I haven't played it in a while. I mean, I tried. I was just waiting computer. for fixes. Hmm? I was waiting for fixes. Mm-hmm. They're coming, apparently. It's just got to wait. Probably August for it's like where it should be. Yep. My focus, I got to put my focus on the house. Yep. Yes, you do. You got to pay to win that house. Pay I'm to paying, win. paying for that house. All them transactions. You think, though, you, you're building that house, you can have a max character in Diablo. Mm hmm. <laughs> Boy, that would be worth it. A max character on a mobile game or a house? Just sit there and look at my character. Okay, he's so pretty. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of. Uh, you don't even have to play the game. He's maxed out. He's maxed out, but still some Asian dude on the leaderboard's higher than you. <laughs> Yeah, but my character's maxed out. Yeah, but this guy's... Dude, That's I, immediate gratification. You grind for it and you're like... No, 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 no put, no <laughs> turn the Xbox off. <laughs> you're pretty much like, I'm, I'm there. Got Iron Lord and I go to Tower. I'm just like, eh. Yeah, why'd I do this? If, if, now, if you... <laughs> it's can self, you sell stuff? Can you sell yeah. stuff on Diablo? You used to could. On the, the third one, when it first came out, they had an auction house where uh-huh. you could... Um, you sell a lot. Like, make a lot of money on that. Yeah, the auction house was, like, pay to win because you could use real money to buy currency for the game to get weapons that people were grinding for. It was for. good until Chinese started making people slave mm-hmm. for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so then they, like, drove up the price of weapons and item sets and then made people give them money for it. But I don't think you could actually take the money back out of the game. Mm. So you can sell stuff <laughs> on War Thunder, and you can sell stuff on Tarkov, too. You could take money out of the game. Could you? Mm-hmm. Mm, that's, Ooh, Tarkov. that's what makes it. Man, yeah. Tarkov is a money-making fool. Oh, you try that new one, Marauders? No. It's Tarkov, but in space. Mm. But that sounds cool. And you, uh, It's like Dead Space, though. No, you, uh, you, you get in a ship and you fly, and then you can board other people's spaceships in space. You ever heard of Star Citizen? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is that not Star Citizen? No. Why but, not? Because this is Tarkov in space. Cause what? You, you can get like escape pods and stuff. It's it's Tarkov, the same fucking thing. You get the bags and the gear and stuff, and you go oh. on, like freight frigates cool. and freights and stuff. I won't see if these, but in space. That's you what it is. You don't know what Spar- Star Citizen is. I know what Star. I've heard and it's yes. exactly same that. Gameplay. Yeah, it's yeah. exactly that. I just want to, except way better. But I want to like it's fly always, my ship yeah. around, like get into somebody else's ship and like scuttle it. You, guys, you can do that on yeah. Star Citizen too. You got Star Citizen. No. You you're part of that almost five hundred billion dollar Kickstarter. 
or hey, $500 million. I thought it was funny that I saw gameplay of it. The game looks fucking good. Game yeah, look good. it's like, very I immersive. I'm like, this looks actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I want to mine all day. Like, that's all you do to make money on that game. It's ruining the economy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can attack. You can, you can do all kinds of other things, but you also have to buy, like, Everything. literal $10,000 ships yeah that's too. how they make their money yes it's crazy the size of a ship the scale of a ship on that game and you have to have like five people too to also run everything you got a guy flying but then you have to have five people to defend the ship if you're mm -hmm. being attacked yeah that's how marauders in so you can get like three or four people one guy scoping you can get escape pods and it's just a less flashy version and you don't have to pay for the ship a bit well i think I, you can... I don't play free to play games I bought my games. I don't know if it's free to play or not. I, don't <laughs> I support my devs. Be. No, I don't know. Is Tarkov free to play? Uh, Tarkov, you have no, to buy have, the game. It's, it's like game, $30 right? or $40 or something. You can buy more gear. You can buy more locker space. You can buy... I mean, the the allure of paying for Tar Tarkov is such a hardcore game. You go in, you're kitted out, and you get fucking waxed right. Like right off the bat, and you get pissed. And so then you either, if you didn't, what insure your gear then you're stuck with a starter set like what a pistol or a shotgun that, yeah. mm -hmm. and then some of those guys go in for fun with a pistol and a shotgun just to they get. kill up kid it like fully fucking maxed out players and then the steal pistol. their shit <laughs> um tarkov is i've never played it but i watch a lot of people play it and it's uh it looks cool it's a rager for sure i'd like to play with my friends but none of my friends play tarkov you guys have a PC? I don't you, have a gaming PC. No. I could play it, but I'd, probably run it's, it. it's too hardcore for me. It's. I, I would get too mad. You got to have that, like, those nice headphones where you're like, yeah. oh, they're to, the, they're to the left. Oh, I can sound whore. It's probably like, a lot better than what I just a, did for two dead fucking days. They're above. So a, Alex got a sound whore headset. You bought those ones uh, from Destiny. Yeah. Uh, Halo. Halo, Halo yeah. Chris, Chris was, it was so good quality. That Chris could hear me talking from across the room because I threw my headset at that one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The ones you bought? I tossed them motherfuckers. Dang. I don't care. Why not? <laughs> Buy another one. <laughs> <laughs> They'll make more. Well, I don't know no. what the fuck was going on that, that, that run. <laughs> it's the joy of having no kids. I'll just buy a new one. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they still work fine. For now. They work great. As long as it works. Where are we at, Thomas? Hey, go ahead. Okay. Um, I mean, we're at. I mean, we spent a few minutes at the beginning, so yeah. we're up there an hour. Wherever you want to do, we can keep it going, or just go ahead. Our outro usually wraps up after like ten. Minutes <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at? It usually here. takes a minute. <laughs> well, uh, that we go. There we go. It's, they may have any exciting news to talk about. Mm. We've been off for two weeks. What's happened with you, Chris? It's just been terrible, man. Bad news all around for everybody. Shooting's out the end. Yeah, yet. shooting's out the butt. I ain't been shot. Uh, the president's like, but it's a good thing because Americans now have more money than they ever have. Oh, yeah. So, so, he said so, inflation's a good thing, too. Yeah, inflation's a good thing. It's a strength. <laughs> he was quoted saying that in a speech. <laughs> yep. We're in an interesting couple yeah. of years. The, New uh, York is cracking down on some gun laws, creating think, some new ones that are probably not going to help. If no. all they do is raise the age to 21. Oh. And they're taking down high-capacity magazines. So I, I, saw, I saw they wanted to do a 1,000% federal tax on ARs. That's stupid. Mm. I'm like, what? And it's like, if you want to get one, you got to pay. That's what they do with silencers. But they're they special special guns. Mm -hmm. $200 tax stamp. I just 3D print it. And then 3D print my 3D printer to print. Didn't the guy... Just print more 3D printer? <laughs> didn't the guy... Some, somebody that just shot up a place. <laughs> one guy... Some, the, one of the guys that just shot up a place was a felon, right? Like, he wasn't allowed to obtain handguns. Well, I mean, it's illegal to shoot people at a grocery store, so... Hey, he's a felon. No, 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 no. We got... <laughs> he's a felon. Yeah, Chris. but we... Chris, we're just... We got to focus on how he got no, the no, gun. No, 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 no. How did a felon get a gun? Don't worry about that. <laughs> victims. Yeah. That, 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 that... How does a felon get a gun? Don't talk about that story, uh -huh. Chris. Don't talk about it. Well, I mean, we it was get apprehended. Get you over sound it. like you're on their side. All right, so <laughs> the left. The devil, you're a big felon. No, no, no. Devil's advocate. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. If kids now carry guns, mature later, 
then I guess making it 21 would be okay. I oh, think- you're saying it'll give them the ability to get to 18 and be like, I want to kill all my classmates, but, but because like, they can't until I'm not, 21. I'm not in high school anymore, so I can't. Well, or or you're you're like you got to go to college. Well, I mean, what you we have now to graduating graduating. Age? <laughs> oh yeah, keep them out. Keep Make them it, out. Get them out of there sooner. If you turn 15, you're out of school. Just yeah, put, just put more microplastics right, baby, and everything. Right, the 50s again. <laughs> so you're saying from 18 to 21, that buffer zone, they're gonna think about things and I, be like, I don't want to kill people now that I'm 21. A lot of stuff happens when you turn 21. I think so personally, but. I mean, that's I your know. schizophrenic years. If you're gonna get schizophrenia, that's the time to get. Well, that's it. easy to say because we were able to buy guns and smoke 18. Oh uh, yeah, I joined well, the military. I'm right. just saying, if that's the, it the, should probably. Be if that's the extent of it, then okay. Yeah, I don't care if that's they raise not the age. It's taking not gonna, people's rights. Away. Yeah, I don't care either. I'm over 21 now, so. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, you can still gift a gun to people, so it's not. Yeah, uh, I don't think you can. You can't gift it no more. I don't think. I don't think I could gift a gun to my nephew. Yeah, but your nephew could open carry your gun at eighteen. Uh, well, I was saying, what if the law was twenty one though? Oh, okay. I don't know. Then could he? It, it could would be he like ha- alcohol. Could he operate it? Could he even? Could he even operate a gun that he's legally not able? Is it just a buying thing? I don't well, you I mean, think he'd be able to operate. You're, you're not supposed to drive a vehicle, <laughs> but like your parents take you to a parking lot when you're like sixteen, and they're like just fucking practice. Yeah. But you're legally not supposed to. Yeah, I sat on some laps and drove no, when I was little. you can take yeah. kids to the gun range. Yeah, but they shoot people. Look what happened to... Well, that's a permitted area. Shot that guy. It's not illegal to operate a firearm. It's illegal to own it. Dude, maybe it yeah. is. Maybe it will become illegal to operate a firearm. Well, yeah. then that's taking away rights. We just got to yeah. start, start suing all the gun factories. They're the ones making them. That's stupid. Somebody is. It's the guns. It's not a person. Just like the right wing places I, that I are had uh, my arresting women that have miscarriages or stillbirths. <laughs> I got, that's it's so already st- happened. That's so stupid. She had an abortion. Arrest her. She's a wet No. <laughs> she had a stillbirth. Arrest her. I got in an argument with a woman you on can't Facebook. Help that. She said it's a gun problem. What is? Abortions? No, I'm sorry. Just talking about the kids. They probably saw both each other. Just... Oh, yeah. It's a, the killings, oh, yeah. the mass shootings is a gun problem. If we allow more abortions, then there's less people to shoot people. No, if we do more abortions, then that's less people to pay for our Social Security when we retire. Yeah. Well, I, I heard that allowing, more, allowing abortions is actually going to decrease the black community. And it's actually racist to allow abortions. I don't know. Because more black people have abortions. I'm not smart enough to figure that out. <laughs> there's a stat line somewhere in there. <laughs> I don't know the numbers. That's just what I hear. Thomas, you went to va- on vacation. Yeah, I went to Florida. Yeah. Much needed, I would imagine. It was... Or was it chaos? I'm still tired. Yeah. <laughs> That's normally vacations. Right. Yeah. When you, you got anything kids. good down there? Went to a water park. Had some good food. Saw the crazy Florida people at Wawa going, Hey, Shemana, no Shemana. You oh, Wawa's are legendary. Wawa was good, but some of the people in there were Floridians to the max. Did you get a glizzy in Wawa? I got a couple, some subs. You oh, get, what get is a, uh, Jocko energy drink from there? Now, Jocko good. energy was drink? the sub better than a sub from Sheets? It's about the same. It's on par. Never had either. Sheets is solid. Sheets is good food. Sheets is way better than QT. Yeah, if Sheets was uh, right here on sixty three, it'd be much same. better. How much? How many times do you go to Salisbury? I used not to, many, but I've gas been station, to Sheets gas station. <laughs> it's better than QT. At least it's not Glizzy's on a roller. About the same. It tastes same. Yeah, yeah. Sheets <laughs> don't do Glizzy's on a roller. You what gotta, do they do? You got to order on a screen. Fresh from the back? Yeah. yeah. From the roller in the back. Just, <laughs> just go to Subway pilot. At least I know yeah. some random dude's not coughing on him. Yeah, some dude with HIV is putting no your glizzy teeth. on a bun. It's like, this one's laced with heroin. You just can't see the roller. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's how you call some, some chaos. You just... Sprinkle a little fentanyl on all yeah. the glizzies. That's <laughs> how you boot, kill a mess. Yeah. I thought some of the people in Wawa were like that. <laughs> You're sprinkling enough on there to kill the guy and then to kill the EMT. The you just need Wawa. this much. You just ugh, pepper it on yeah, that somebody glizzy. Mouth to mouth him, they die too. <laughs> Dude, what a spicy glizzy to take a bite of that thing. What if you didn't know? You're just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you take two bites and then that happens and you die. And what if you do that and you watch a guy eat it? It doesn't happen. That's, oh that's shit! Not how you sit there and it's like, work. oh god, that's scary. <laughs> he just he's just there and just walks out like he's normal. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa, oh, was this bad guy. fentanyl? Yeah. Then you like take a taste and you die. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You but you 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 dose the guy that has a fentanyl like 
Addiction. Negative reaction. Yeah. He's already OD'd on fentanyl three times. Yeah. He's immune. He just goes and gets his narkin. Um, well, we, I don't support anyone that wants to go in and fentanyl glizzies in the fucking Yeah, no, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> but don't, don't do drugs or make people do you know, drugs. Or you can do drugs if you want to. Dude, yeah. if you're just going to do that with fentanyl anyway, you just take a packet and throw it into a fan somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and put it in the HVAC space. system behind the curtains. <laughs> yeah, there you You're just go. like a disgruntled employee. Jesus Here Christ. you go, motherfuckers. <laughs> just go to the New York and everyone's laying down in the QT. The Empire State Building. Just oh, have shit. a backpack full of it. <laughs> that's a that's an expensive endeavor. You remember Batman Begins when the uh, the uh, the all the shit was like spewing out of the sewers? It'd yes. be like that. Mm. Yes. <laughs> all the people would be like. <laughs> <laughs> seeing bats flying around with red eyes. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Why doesn't it work? Alex. Why you bastard? Uh, two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Two it's weeks. Been two it's the same. Weeks. I've been the same. Have it, has anything changed for you? Nothing different. Your wife went to Florida. Not with me. On Memorial. Oh, did she go to Florida? The same am time I, as Thomas? Am I making that up? No, Memorial Weekend. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I took an airplane. She went somewhere. To a beachy location, she's right? Going to Florida with her friends. Which part yeah. of Florida? But she's, I just can't, I, she goes, Tampa. she travels Tampa. so much, I can't keep up with it. Yeah, well, Tampa's cool. Way the road. <laughs> so you had the house all to yourself? Yeah. Nice. That's good. You got a flashlight? <laughs> no. <laughs> you need one. I see you winking right there, Alex. <laughs> you need one. I see one. you winking. I see, I see them air, <laughs> why are they you air quotes? The, do you guys <laughs> got, has anybody got one of those, uh, Auto suckers. Yeah, I've seen well, the ad so for it. have an auto sucker. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I gave it. Chris my last week. They're, <laughs> <laughs> they, I heard they're violent. I heard turn they're that, violent. Turn that bitch to high and it just rips it off. I heard. I heard that they are are pretty aggressive. If you don't have plenty of lube on that thing, it's like oh, yeah. it's like grabby. It just pulls your dick off. <laughs> yeah. It's like oh, hardcore man. grabby. You got them little hairs at the base of your shaft. And it's just where like, did you see? Nah. A, where did you see an ad? <laughs> when you accidentally accept cookies to website Tyler. I, e- I had an email link one time I clicked on it it was just something in a shower doing this <laughs> it does look that like looks fun like a, is that cleaning a hot dog on my lord <laughs> dude the, gl- the glizzy cleaner the glizzy cleaner <laughs> I, I get the fentanyl off the glizzy <laughs> <laughs> well, there's reviews on YouTube what? So, why has it got a mask do they know. use a glizzy as a as a test piece no. He puts fentanyl on it and it sucks it off so you don't see it. <laughs> automatic or manual? I want to try an automatic. Maybe Thomas can pull up the videos in a minute. Dude, it just sits there and you're just like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not like the real thing, but it'll pass. Uh, well, this thing does Thomas, unnatural stuff. I searched, I searched auto sucker with no space. Just auto, straight up auto automatic sucker. penis sucker. You typed in auto sucker. <laughs> I just went on YouTube and typed in auto sucker, no spaces. <laughs> There's a guy. <laughs> Vortex. Man. What are we looking at? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, at least I know YouTube is not going to show anything. Angelo All right. Morinando. I know what everybody's getting who's for this, Christmas. This guy? I just hit Google. I don't know. Did he create the auto sucker? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> God bless that <laughs> man. Made the first flesh oh, like Google Doodle celebrates Angelo Morindo, the inventor of the espresso. Oh, you clicked on the Google logo. You got to put in auto sucker. I, I had it. I just clicked off of it because it was weird. You put in autopantic penis sucker. <laughs> it's good to use I'm looking at it. I didn't tell you to do it. Oh, you can buy an auto sucker off of Alibaba. That's a breast sucker. Alibaba. Get one from China. That guy's still in hiding. They China. Which one? Who? The guy that owns Alibaba. What's this? I forgot about Ooh, that. Ooh. Size oh, matters. The, the window sucker things. It just disappeared. The guy, so, the guy that got roasted by Elon Musk? Huh? No, I there think he go. outspoke in China. <laughs> the, dude, the dude's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> USB charge. What's, what, it's so short. How 42 you, degree body temperature. What's it do when you put it in there? It's so short. It's Man. The head I, I don't know if it's like actual size it's or like what. It's like a I don't know. massager. Dude, when you reach around the top. Lipstick. Well... If you got an auto suck, sucker out there and you want to let us know how it is, please let us know. That's for a woman, <laughs> for that clit rub, boy. That's, is that a security cam right there? <laughs> what, voyeur? Yes. That, that's a, buy one of those and hang it up at the shop. <laughs> auto sucker electric breast pump. It looks like a security camera. Dude, hang, hang, <laughs> buy it, hang it at the shop. Hang, hang up a breast milk sucker. <laughs> so, but man, this thing's got 4K, <laughs> 4K nipples. This auto sucker will moan. <laughs> 
I'm moans. looking at one that moans. Look at that it one. It's got, a little, it's got a little beads in it. Man. Rotation and voices. His place. Voice. Why would you? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Just, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so it's like, uh, eh, eh, eh. Fuck me. Well, Anyways. we need to get one and we'll pass it around. You just need some soap. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of soap. I'm clean. Are you clean? You have any STDs? No. I mean, as long Thomas? as you as long as you pull out, Thomas it's not Marty. dirty, right? No, I'll finish I've up. been with one girl the whole life. I'm clean. Yep. Alex, I, I think he's probably clean. How many people has she been with? Chris, uh, Thomas, <laughs> though. Thomas, you've been. I've been with a few. Been around the block. They've been pretty sensible. We're gonna need an STD test yeah, before anybody, you. Yeah, anybody in this room is gonna have an STD. It's gonna be you, my friend. Yeah, probably. we're gonna need you the perusing the tenders. Probably. We're gonna need I, a I, test I, before you stick your penis I in the auto. I haven't noticed any weird bumps or, or fleshy or pieces. Yeah. Let's just say you're last on the auto. So you're not list. discharging right. any kind of thick you know what's liquid. Bad though is I have herpes of the mouth. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, what? Well, you didn't have yeah, the, the cock shirt. Isn't that what a fever boost? You got the yes, HPV? So, yeah. No, oh, a herpes sure everybody a, has that. Hey, you go to KW and herpes are so good. That's just like. <laughs> it's genetic. They're, you can get passed from your mom, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. What oh, you doing, saying, Chris? Like, what you doing? No, our generation is the <laughs> yeah. last one where, like, nobody got the vaccine, so. Right. Fucked vaccine. I don't have it, but yeah, you, we like could have. Years, our, you're like Tyler died of throat cancer. Our boomer can't. Pa- our boomer parents may have had HPV. Well, my, my wife gets blisters, um, fever blisters. Mm. Yeah, it's because her mom. Yeah, passed same. down from her grandmother to her mom. Oh, that's how I got. All genetics. Yeah, that sucks. Well, I've been banging out the fucking house construction. That's all I've been doing. Uh. Well, Thomas, how can they <laughs> get a hold of us? Yeah, so thanks for listening to Tech Lab. Well, yeah, that was that was Tack Lab. So, uh, yeah, you can uh, like, subscribe, go on social media. We're on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Check out our uh, videos. You can see us laughing at <laughs> nothing for like 30 minutes until you get some actual information, you know? Yeah. Wow. Good old, good old shit. Um, give us a subscribe, like, follow. This is the worst outro. It's been two weeks. Fuck it. Big up. Big up. You know, uh, check out our pages. Wow. We got content. We got things. Uh, you can... Email us, taglabpod at gmail.com, T-A-C-T-L-A-B-P-O-D at gmail.com. Yeah, happy... Yikes. Happy Rainbow Day. Get that big top burger, the big whopper. Yeah, the big whopper. Get two bottoms because you're a bitch. <laughs> you a bottom man? <laughs> yes, I want two bottoms. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm a top man. <laughs> I'm a human. <laughs> I'm a human. And I'm coming. My recommendations are screwed. Yeah, now you look at auto suck. There's just this big black woman here. It's just like, I don't know how to give head. <laughs> you let them auto suck. Wait, there's this guy suck. here reviewing it, dude. <laughs> Is that what it sounds yeah, like? Yeah, yeah. What? It's like, a, it's like one of those uh, ghost things during a Halloween. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> See, imagine you have kids and they just hear that and the like. It's like bouncing out of his hand. Like, like, why is dad playing it's with like my a toys? Machine gun. It's like a ray gun. Yeah. That dude's probably used it a few times. It's like a portal gun. <laughs> the fuck is that? That sounds like the ring. Remember the ring? daddy. Put it up to the mic. She thinks I'm doing a great job, whatever it is I'm doing. I like this. I like a machine that throws out. <laughs> she should play it out in the podcast. <laughs>